In this video, I'm going to attempt to explain to you why a polarized plug matters, why you need it, why you shouldn't defeat it, and why you should ignore the idiots online who tell you that it doesn't matter because it's an alternating current system. That is completely wrong, and I'm going to demonstrate why in a moment. This is a polarized plug. This is an unpolarized plug. The difference, of course, is that the polarized plug has a wider blade and can only be inserted one way. An unpolarized plug can be inserted in either direction. So, why does it matter? The reason that it matters is because even though the electricity, the polarity is switching back and forth, the thing that never changes is that one of the two sides, the side that we call neutral, that side has been crossed to the earth, always. The neutral side is crossed to the earth, always. You are Earth, and because this wire is already crossed to Earth, it's not likely to go through you to get to Earth because you are not the easiest path. This is the easiest path to Earth. The power wants to get from the hot side to the Earth, or when the polarity reverses, it wants to get from the Earth to the hot side. Remember, you're the Earth. That means if you touch the hot side, the electricity is going to course through your body to get to the hot side, and you will likely die. That's why it matters. When you turn off... So here's, here's what it means in practical terms. This is a crappy little lamp. It's got a crappy little inline switch. It's got a crappy unpolarized plug. I'm going to plug it in. Now you can see with the am I going to die O sensor, this is what I call the am I going to die O sensor, and it tells you whether you're going to die. I'm going to plug this into the neutral side of the socket. It makes no sound. I'm going to plug it into the hot side of the socket. It makes a sound. Why doesn't it make a sound when I plug it into neutral? It's because it's already bonded to earth. It's already bonded to earth. This tells if there's a voltage difference between the thing that the tip is close to and everything around it. That's why it makes noise. This is already bonded to earth. So am I. There's no potential there. There's no, the electricity doesn't want to go there. This wire, however, it does have power that wants to get to the, wants to get to earth. See, you can, it senses it right on the line. Now we get to the switch. The switch, the switch cuts the power on one of the wires. So you can see that it's been turned off. Now, if we turn the switch on, and voila, you can see that it's, it's now hot again. There's electrical potential that wants to get to Earth. That's me, I'm Earth, you're Earth. Turn it off, it's gone. There's no more electrical potential. So now, we take the plug, we plug it in the wrong way. Now, here's the power again. But guess what, the light's still off. See how it's still hot? Check this out. See, there's, there's power down there in that light bulb, even though the switch is off. In fact, I'm going to turn it on. Check it out. Now it doesn't ring, because it's actually pretty happily going right back to Earth through that light bulb, and so there's not as much potential there. So it's ironically, theoretically, more dangerous with the power off than it is with the power on. So the trick is to make sure that this switch always switches the hot lead, and the hot lead, that is the skinny blade in the, the skinny blade in the socket, the skinny blade on the plug, that hot lead always has to be the thing that gets switched first, that is closest to the source. So that way when you turn it off, it's only energized up to the switch and not throughout the, the lamp or the appliance or the toaster or whatever. Otherwise, it's on even when it's off. So if you defeat this plug by crunching this down or filing it off, you run the risk of killing yourself accidentally.